Hi friends! It's time for music. It's nice to see you. Let's say hello. It'll be really fun to act out the animals when it's time. So hopefully you have some room around you to do that and make big animal sounds. I think that'll be a lot of fun. But first, we are going to look at there was an old woman who swallowed a fly. It's a very silly book. And I think we'll have a lot of fun with it. Okay, ready? There was an old woman who swallowed a fly. Do you see that little guy right there? Oh, in her belly. Oh my goodness. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Oh me, oh my. What's gonna happen next? Check it out. What do you see? What's next? It's a little bit bigger than a fly. It's a spider. Good job. There was an old woman who swallowed a spider. Oh, it wiggled and jiggled and wriggled inside her. Why would she do that? Hmm. Let's see. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. Oh, that's still very silly though. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Oh me, oh my. Ooh, I wonder what's next. What animal do you see? Oh, it's a good spring animal. These animals are coming out all the time flying around. Is that a good hint? It's a bird. There was an old woman who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider who wiggled and wriggled. Can you wiggle and wriggle with me? Wiggled and wriggled and jiggled inside her. Oh, she swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Oh me, oh my. There was an old woman who swallowed a Oh, what do you see? A little orange. Oh, there's the word right there. Cat. Oh, 
Ah, imagine that she swallowed a cat. <gasps> she looks like she's getting very big. <gasps> she swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider who wriggled and wiggled and jiggled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why. Oh, she swallowed that fly. Oh me, oh my. This time you can do those actions with me. I'll show you. Oh, there was an old woman who swallowed a... Oh my goodness. That's a very big animal to try to swallow. It's a dog. What a hog to swallow a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider who wiggled and wriggled and jiggled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Oh me, oh my. Wow. It's a cow. There was an old woman who swallowed a cow. I don't know how she swallowed a cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider who wiggled and wriggled and jiggled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Oh me, oh my. She's getting so big. Oh, I don't think she can fit any more in there. Oh, she's going to try. <clears throat> there was an old woman who swallowed a horse. But of course she tried to swallow a horse. She swallowed the horse. Whoa, she's so round. To catch the cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider who wiggled and wriggled and jiggled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Oh me, oh my. Isn't that a really crazy story? Look how big she got trying to swallow all of those animals. Whoa. I bet you she had a very big tummy ache. Don't you think? Good job, friends. That was a great story. It's a very silly one, but I really enjoy it. We're going to sing about some more animals. Now, lots of the animals that we sang about in There Was an Old Woman Who Swallowed a Fly were from one place. You'd find them all in one place. The spiders and the flies you can fly pretty, or find pretty much everywhere. But cats and dogs and cows and horses, where do you find those animals? Does anybody know? Oh, okay, friends who know, wait. Let's see if anybody else knows. Good job. Usually there's a barn at this place. 
You can even go visit sometimes to see the animals. And there will also be chickens and pigs and mm, sometimes rabbits. And oh, do you know? It's the farm. Good job. And we know lots of songs about farms. And we probably have sang lots of songs about farms since we were very, very young. So we're going to sing a song about the zoo today. Try something new. We're going to the zoo. to hear the animals especially if they make a sound and then we're going to try to guess them before we see them we're going to use some words to describe them so first let's listen what animal do you hear did you hear that oh it was a trumpeting sound my goodness, this animal has four legs. This animal is very big. This animal has big floppy ears. You're going to you're going to be able to guess it very soon. This animal is gray. Good job, friends. Okay, you tell me what makes this animal very special. Oh, what do you see? It's an elephant. And what makes the elephant very special, something that only the elephant has, is a trunk and sometimes tusks. Wow. Good job, friends. So our elephant is very heavy. He's going to stomp, stomp, around on the ground. Do you think you can stomp like an elephant? Get your big elephant feet ready. I see an elephant stomping all around. Stomp, stomp. Oh, an elephant stomping on the ground. Oh, let's do it together. He can make Your trunk ready. <gasps> Let's hear your elephants. Oh, good job, louder. <gasps> Great work, friends. An elephant at the zoo. Okay. Let's listen to this next animal. Did you hear that roar? Whoa! This animal, the male, the boy, has a large mane of hair all around his head. A mane is lots and lots of hair all in one place around his head. Four legs. He is brown. He has sharp teeth. Good job. You know what it is? Here he's coming. He's coming. Check it out. Oh, if you don't know, I bet you know now. It is a lion. Whoa. The lion is going to prowl. So you're going to get your big claw paws ready and you're going to prowl in your cage and then a big roar to scare the people away. Let's try. I see a lion prowling in his cage, slowly creeping towards the Oh, a lion prowling in his cage. 
Eight. Ready? Okay, we're gonna scare the people away. One, two, three, four, one. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> oh, can you try that one more time? You can scare me. Scaring all the people away. Ready? Let me hear your big roar. One, two, three. <gasps> so scary. Good job, friends. Let's see what other animals we can see at the zoo. Oh, I might have given it away because I was a little nervous about this animal. Let's hear him. Ready? First, we're going to hear him. you hear? This animal is usually very long. It slithers because it doesn't have any legs. So it doesn't walk or jump or run or crawl. It slithers. Okay, good job. Most of my friends probably already guessed it. Good work. Let's wait for our other friends. Uh, there's lots of it, this animal isn't one color. It could be many different colors depending on the kind. Okay. But usually they're very long and they slither in the grass or up a rock or a tree. Oh, 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 there he comes. Oh, wow, friends, do you see my wiggly, wiggly, slithery, hissing, Got it! Wow! That is a big, long snake. Now you could be a snake. You could slither on the ground. You could get on your tummy and slither on the ground. Or you could use your hands. And there's my little snake head. And you could slither using your hands. So show me your slithering snake. I see a snake slithering on the ground. Good job, friends. Making a hissing sound. S Good job. Hissing and slithering. One more big hiss. <gasps> Good job, friends. Okay. Now, this animal does make a sound. It's true. But it's not one you're going to recognize. So I'm going to describe the animal and see if we can guess it. First things first, the Toronto Zoo just welcomed a new baby of this kind of animal. So maybe you've been seeing pictures of that. If not, this animal has very long legs, four of them, has tiny ears at the top of his head. He's got a long tail. There's lots of long about this animal. Big and long. To see this animal, you need to look way, way up. And when you look way up, you're going to stretch your neck. And it turns out this animal has a very long neck. Good job. Many of my friends will already know this one. Let's check it out. Here he comes. Oh, oh. Look how big and tall and long this animal is. It's a giraffe. Good job. And the Toronto Zoo just had a baby giraffe. You should go check it out. Let's be giraffes. Do you know what a giraffe likes to eat? I do. That long neck is perfect for reaching way up high into their green they have lots of leaves on them into the 
trees and then they're gonna eat those leaves so when we're acting on our giraffe I want you to stretch your neck way up high and eat all the leaves on the trees I see a giraffe reaching way up high into the trees stretching their necks up so they can eat all the leaves big stretch to the ground. They do have four legs, but they're very short legs so that they really have to almost slither and crawl. They like swampy areas, so places that have rivers and ponds and mud. They have a very long tail. They have sharp teeth and they have a long mouth with those sharp teeth in it so that they can snap. Oh, I gave it away, didn't I? Oh, you're right, friends, good job. Now, this could be a crocodile or an alligator. You get to decide. I'm gonna call it a crocodile. There are things that are different between a crocodile and an alligator, but we won't get into that. We will just act out our crocodile. So you can get low to the ground so that you can crawl towards the swampy water and snap your teeth using your arms. Or you can do that from your chair. Just sit up in your chair and give me your biggest snapping mouth. Oh, I see a crocodile crawling towards the swamp. Slowly, slowly he goes. And then he opens his mouth wide with all those sharp teeth inside. And snap! Oh, on a fish he'll go. Lots of fish. Let's try that again. Oh, he'll open his mouth wide with lots of sharp teeth inside and snap. On a fish he'll go. Good job, friends. I love going to the zoo with you. There are so many other animals that you could see at the zoo. I want you to think about those animals. What animals could you see? There are animals that waddle on the ice and they're black and white. Penguins, good job. There are animals that swing up in the trees and they make a <laughs> sound. <gasps> they're very silly. Yeah, monkeys, and there are also uh, gorillas and orangutans at the zoo. Those are all versions of primates or monkeys. What else? <gasps> there are other big cats like the lion, but some are striped. Oh, black and orange stripes. That's a tiger, good job. Some are all black, or at least they look all black. They might actually have spots on there, but they're all black, like a panther or a leopard. Good job. There are so many beautiful animals at the zoo. Hopefully you'll get to visit soon. And I'm glad that we got to sing about them together. Thank you. It's time to say goodbye, friends. I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you soon. Goodbye, yeah, yeah. Goodbye, yeah, yeah. Thank you for music. Thank you for music. Thank you for music today. Goodbye, all my friends. Goodbye. Bye, everybody.
Everybody. Thank you.